All right, hello, OAS family. It's time for another book review, and we have a very, very special book that we are reviewing today. We are going to be reviewing paintings by Zhao Sao An, and this is the signature album of collected works for one of what I think is the most relevant modern Chinese masters. So it's a gorgeous coffee table book. The dimensions of the book are 12 by 12, so it's a square book, and it's bound in this sort of older Chinese style, so it's bound in reverse when compared to Western books, and that's because in the ancient sort of Chinese reading uh, writing, uh, the, the, the reading is actually done in reverse order from top to bottom and from right to left. So in this way, uh, this is sort of bound in the way that a Chinese person would read a book. But uh, for those of us who are used to Western books, it seems backwards. So we uh, are going to get into the book. The book is, again, uh, 12 by 12. The captions are in both, uh, the text is in both Chinese and English, and it is 180 pages. So you can see here that this book is an album of collected work, so it's not an instructional book. It's a book mostly that you're going to use as like a coffee table style book and use it for inspiration. Uh, so, here's some forward biography material. It's all in Chinese. Then here are the table of contents. And this is a section, I'm sorry, this is actually in French, this part. Um, and so now we're gonna get into the paintings themselves. All right, so you can see here, and the paintings in this album are actually much more representative of Zhao Sao An's diversity of style. We reviewed another beautiful Zhao Saoan album, um, and that one was very much focused on his smaller paintings. And those paintings are very exciting because I think his most distinctive style, the style that he became known for, and the style that almost defined uh, what became a genre of Chinese painting called Lingnan style, um, is covered in his other book uh, that we've also reviewed. And that that uh, the link to that review is in the descriptions. But this book has a much more complete collection of the the styles uh of 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 him as as a as a complete artist so here we can see this painting called spring these blossoms with this bird and this painting which we call the creeper and rock painting here A pair of birds this is a tree in the foreground with that bird in the background And this is also an interesting style of that the way this book is bound is some of the paintings are they, they choose to display them large split between two pages. So you can see this is one complete painting. So here are some of his simpler dynamic paintings that feature insects. Some calligraphy. This painting that they call Egrid at Dusk. This one is called Frozen Fragrance. I like this three birds motif. Kind of reminds me of that 
Bob Marley song, Three Little Birds. couple other bird paintings. Again, this is the style of his that is that he is most, I think, well known for. This very dynamic style with the very striking strokes. Featuring birds on branches. This is a gorgeous landscape painting called the Yangtze Gorge. Another bird painting here. And this is also something that occurs in the book, which is they show a complete painting on one side, and then this is basically a zoom of the same painting. So this is a close-up shot, so you can see the details a little bit more. Nice feature of the book. Again, here, the same idea, where we have the complete painting here, and then a zoom, so we can see the detail. This is the, the cover painting. It's a tiger painting. This painting is called Cadeted Stroll. A couple bird paintings here. Landscape River Passage. River in the rain, this beautiful river flowing through this bridge. This is a painting called Blossoms in the Mist. And here's the detail shot of the painting, the zoom in. After the Rain and Mantis. Cicada. Here's a loquat painting again with this collection of three birds. This one on the top is Ode to the Setting Sun. And then this one on the bottom is Bringing Glad Tidings. And then this is Birds in the Spring Chill. It's cart painting and it's detail shot. Sunflower painting on this side. This time five birds on the branch. And then here we have another three birds nesting in a tree. The painting on the right is called Talks of Winter Chill. The deer painting, very unusual subject for a Chinese artist, but wonderfully done. Here's a painting of corn and autumn leaves. And this is a great idea, just a simple kapok flower called the fallen kapok. Chirping. This one's called Golden Harvest. The Dewy Blossom. And Cicada on the Branch. This is uh, Crimson Glow and Warbling. This painting is called Early Autumn. This one is Riot of Colors. Just amazingly striking. 
And I really like the, the sort of softer color next to the striking color. I think that is very unusual. I don't think I've ever seen that in a painting before by another artist. Some landscapes, returning skiff. And this is village in the mist and mountains and river in the mist and rain. This is perfumed air and the greeting. And this one is called Maples of Flame. This one we recently featured in an email. This is Autumn Waters at Sunset. This is the actual painting here. Look at those wonderful colors on that bamboo trunk, amazing. Here's another one that's called Cicada in the Bamboo. And this is the Palm in Bloom. Withered reeds, autumn glow, and the hive. Sunset. In the rain, Blooming. Monkeys on the right. And drizzle at dawn on the left. Simply called fish. I'm sure those of you who have studied with my dad for a while knows he always uses that analogy of fish looking for the same food. See? There it is in a nutshell. Ink outline called crabs. And then a very simple landscape by River's Edge. And this one that he calls solitude. Sunflower, white cat. This is uh, monkeys with uh, blow up on the right hand side. This painting is called Autumn Music. And then Magnolia and May. Banana in bloom. Glowing loquats. And this is peony. Rabbit. This one's called After Nap. And this one is Morning Miss. This painting's called per Perching. And this one is Smoke in Deserted Place. This one's called Winter Mist. And this is Cicada on the left, and on the right is Autumn Message. Early snow on the Lotus Pond. Look at that, touches of snow in there. Mm. 
Mina and Willow. Scattered Petals. And Mina in Spring. Returning Fisherman. Silent Waters. And Tranquility. Cicada, chirping cicada, vegetables. Butterflies, songs of autumn. On the left hand side, Buddha. And on the right hand side, Bodhidharma in meditation. Huh, this one's called Oops. Pause on the right. Do we blossom on the left? And morning watch on the right. And this is persimmon. Look at that fruit. Autumn sunset on the river. This is a fan-shaped painting called Cicada. And this one featuring the lilies called Light Breeze. Before sunset, Kapok. On the right, this is peony and butterfly. That's the detailed version. And this is the full painting. First snow on the right. And on the left, we have corner of the garden and low plots. This is bird and tea blossoms. And on the left, crimson graces. Some fancy goldfish beautifully rendered here. This one's just simply called fish. Loquats. Birds in autumn. Pine in the snow. This one's a three panel piece called Old Pine Tree. Egrets in the willow. Chirping birds in winter. Mountains in the Moonlight. This is the detailed version and that is the full painting. Fan-shaped red Kapok blossoms. And then going in this direction, we have Autumn Leaves, Song of Cicada, Peony, This is the complete tiger painting, and this is the detail blow up. This is the full lychee painting. This is detail on just the cicada featured in that painting. And then here is another painting called Cicadas. And then this is the complete painting of the bird and the larger detail, the larger detail.
This one's called Egret. White Peacock. This painting is called Peony in the Rain, and here's the detail shot. Wow. This painting is called Late Return. Whispers in the Moonlight, and then the detail shot. This is Carp, and the detail shot. Egret full painting in the detail shot. Angelfish. Angling in the snow. And the detail. This one's called Roar in the detail. Midnight Prunus Scent. This is a painting of China Cove in Carmel, California. Here we have the English rendering of the artist's biography. And this was written by Ah Hu Ning, who's his student, but also a very famous painter in his own right. And this is Master Zhao Sa An Seal Collection. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this book. This is one of those things that makes a wonderful item for your holiday wish list. It's a very rare book. Uh, I don't know anywhere else that you can get it uh, besides us or if you traveled uh, to, maybe you traveled to Asia and found it in a bookstore there. But uh, this book is becoming, these types of books are becoming rarer and rarer, not only because books are becoming rarer and rarer, but also, the awareness of who these Chinese masters are as we get farther and farther away from their artistic primes um, is not being carried on by the next generation. So, you know, part of what we are trying to do here at Oriental Art Supply is just keep the appreciation of these works alive because 
Um, these are very, very meaningful artists and uh, we want uh, future generations to be able to enjoy their work. And to do that, we just have to remember and keep records of the things that they did. So again, this is Paintings by Zhao Sao An, and you can find it on our website at orientalartsupply.com. So if you enjoyed this book review, make sure you like and subscribe on our channel. And thanks so much for listening, and happy painting!